what's up everybody and welcome back so now that we can uh, rotate our player using the arrow keys but the first problem we have is if i press the right arrow key and if i leave it the character is going back to its default rotation so let's quickly fix that and in this video we are going to also move the player so to fix that problem what we are going to do is we are going to say if our input direction is not equal to vector 2 dot 0 only then we are going to perform the rotation because when we press the right arrow key and when we leave it the input is going to be 0 because we are not pressing any key this is going to be 0 and this is going to be 0 so and even normalizing it will give us 0 so if the input direction is not zero it means then we are going to rotate the player so let's quickly save that and go back to our editor and play the game so now you can see the character is not going back to its default position so let's move our player so to move we are going to make use of transform dot translate and this is going to take two argument one of them is the translation in vector 3 and the second is space so there are two kinds of space in unity uh, world space and local space and we are going to discuss both of them in detail so let's say for translate we are going to say transform dot forward and why we are going to transform in forward I am going to explain it but first let's multiply it by some value so I am going to multiply it by 5 and also multiply it by time dot delta time and for the second argument space we are going to say space dot world now let's go back first and test it now without pressing any key the character is going forward this is because we have hard coded this value and uh, this is also going this is always going to be 5 regardless if we press any key or not so let's change that i am going to enclose it in brackets and i am going to say input direction dot magnitude so if we are not pressing any key input is going to be zero input direction is going to be zero and the magnitude is going to be zero so multiplying five by zero will give us zero and this whole thing is going to be zero so our character is not going to move if input is zero let's quickly save that and go back So now that our character is not moving so if we press our input you can see we can move left right forward and backward direction now let's discuss why are we putting transform dot forward here so we only want to move our player in the forward direction so regardless of what input we are giving either we are pressing the right or left or forward or backward key the character should only move towards the forward so what is the forward so forward is going to be so whatever direction our player is facing so right now you can see that our player is facing towards the left direction and what is the forward of that player so the forward is going to be this side so if we press the right left arrow key the player is going to move the forward so if i press the right arrow key now the character is facing towards right and what is the direction what is the forward of that pair it is right so that's why the character is now going towards forward similarly if we face towards the forward direction 
the character forward is also going to be forward so we can move forward now if i move back the backward direction now the character is facing toward the back side the characters forward is this back side so we are facing moving toward the back side